reminder to move over. Um, since this is the first annual in Snap Spots Week, we'll continue it next year. Good afternoon. Appreciate you being here today. My name is Sergeant Jason Pastry, D Public Information and Education Officer. And I appreciate your presence here today. The purpose of this press conference is to announce the first ever Traffic Incident Response Awareness Week declared by the Federal Highway Administration, which began this past Monday, November 14th, and will extend through this upcoming Friday, November 18th. The goal for this week is to bring awareness to the dangers that emergency responders face as they work alongside the nation's busy highways. Behind me today are members of the public safety community, including law enforcement, MoDOT, Fire and Rescue, Emergency Medical Services, and the Towing and Transportation Agencies. We come together asking for your help. Every minute of every day, emergency responders across Missouri work tirelessly to help save lives at the scene of traffic incidents. Also, our, our goal at these scenes is to relieve congestion or blockage of a roadway in the safest and quickest manner possible. Across the country every year, hundreds of emergency responders represented for those that you see behind me here are struck and either injured or killed while, re while responding or working an incident on or near our roadways. We work every day to maintain a safe and reliable transportation system for Missourians and traffic in incidents on the roads can jeopardize that. In an average month, MoDOT emergency crews respond to 5,500 traffic incidents and in 2015, the Missouri State Highway Patrol received approximately 50,000 calls for service. In the past 10 years, MoDOT has had three emergency response employees killed while working incidents on the road. And during about the same time period, the Missouri State Highway Patrol has had three troopers killed and several others seriously injured in roadside incidents. Specifically in Troop D, on August 17, 2005, Corporal J. San Pietro, badge number 584, was directing traffic at the site of an earlier fatal traffic crash when he was struck by a vehicle driven by a distracted driver who failed to move, move over on Interstate 44 near Stratford. He was taken to Cox South Hospital in Springfield, where he later succumbed to his injuries, leaving behind, behind a wife and two small children. According the, to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, the total number of police reported traffic crashes increased by 3.8% from 2014 to 15, and traffic incident fatalities have increased 7.2% which is the largest percentage increase in nearly 50 years. So this week, we are placing increased emphasis on Missouri's move over law. We want to remind motorists to use caution when approaching any vehicle with flashing lights on the highway. Move over when you see responders on the road and give them that extra space to work. Missouri's move over law requires drivers to slow down and change lanes on a divided highway when approaching law enforcement, emergency vehicles, MoDOT, and transportation personnel with lights flashing. If drivers can't change lanes safely, they at least must have to slow down as they pass the emergency vehicles. Traffic incidents are the number one cause of death for police officers and emergency responders nationwide, and oftentimes we work just a few feet from those moving vehicles that could potentially take our lives. So whether writing a ticket, investigating a crash, towing a strand of motorists, providing medical care or repairing the road, we are dangerously close to passing traffic, so please move over and give us some room. As we conclude, please use extra caution when approaching a traffic incident. When you see lights, vests, and reflectors, slow down and move over. Also during Traffic Incident Awareness Week, and as far as all year long, we just want drivers to put down your phone, slow down, and wear your seatbelt. Oftentimes at crash scenes or critical incidents, drivers tend to take their eyes off the road causing their vehicle to steer in the path of emergency workers. So eliminate your distractions and pay attention to the job of driving. Remember, our safety is in your hands.